Good afternoon. This is Greg Vadney at the RAR West Art Museum in Manitowoc, Wisconsin, with today's staff pick. This is a big one. Uh, we continue with our theme of spring, and I'm going to go with what is our most famous piece of art by arguably Wisconsin's greatest artist. With apologies to Frank Lloyd Wright and others, I'm talking, of course, about Georgia O'Keeffe and her painting, Birch and Pine Tree Number 2. This, this painting could have been any one of our members' staff picks, but since I'm the director, I get to exercise my executive authority and be the guy to tell you about it. The Rar West acquired Birch and Pine Tree Number 2 in 1990. It was the last and most significant purchase that Ruth West made for our museum. A few days ago, I talked about Ruth West and her legacy. Uh, you can check out that video on our Facebook page as well. And perhaps no single piece of artwork in our collection better illustrates her mission to bring the best artwork to Manitowoc than this painting, Birch and Pine Tree Number 2. Uh, a lot of people, when they think of Georgia O'Keeffe, associate her with the American Southwest to the point where many of us in Wisconsin don't even know that she's one of us. Uh, the truth is that Georgia O'Keeffe was born right outside of Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, in 1887, and she lived there for most of her childhood. Our painting, however, was painted neither in Wisconsin nor in the Southwest. It was painted in upstate New York. Uh, this painting, Birch and Pine Tree Number 2, is one of many that she painted when she was summering at her husband Alfred Stieglitz's family home in Lake George, New York. As an emerging artist, she developed her uh, that signature of stylized paintings of nature that echo very personal and very human characteristics. I'm personally drawn to this painting because, like her, I have spent a lot of time in Lake George, New York. As a matter of fact, as a kid, I spent a lot of my summer days either on the lake or right near Lake George, New York. I still have family members that live in Lake George Village. And every year uh, I, when I'm on vacation, I try to stop by Lake George. As a matter of fact, here's a picture of me with uh, the sign at the Stieglitz uh, homestead, the old Stieglitz homestead in Lake George, New York. Uh, I, on that, that day, I did look around, found a bunch of pine trees Sadly, no birches. You are not here, however, to look at my vacation pictures, so let's dive into this magnificent painting. Like I said, George O'Keefe was world-renowned for her ability to bring human elements out in her moder modernist nature scenes. Let's take a look at these intertwined trees. The white birch in the foreground, it's got a pronounced curve to it calls to mind almost like a human quality like joints bones limbs the green pine tree embracing the birch was said to symbolize a spouse holding on to their beloved conflicting histories state that this painting was either intended as a gift for recently married friends of o'keefe or to symbolize her own marriage to artist alfred stieglitz but what's the deal with number two birch and pine tree number two there are, in public collections, actually three O'Keeffe Birch and Pine Tree paintings. And here's some great news. You can see all three of them online in digital collections. Here's Birch and Pine Tree number one. It's at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Shout out to Rocky Balboa. As you can see, the background is darker blue than the rose background of our Birch and Pine Tree number two. It's a little bit darker painting. Uh, you can also note that the birch tree is more enveloped by the pine tree. Art historians speculate that O'Keeffe took a second crack at the composition because this first was a little too dark for what she was trying to symbolize. The pine tree is sort of dominating the birch rather than wrapping it in a gentle embrace. Uh, so it seemed like she was working a concept out in her mind. Number one didn't quite do it for her. And I'll note that both of these paintings were created in 1925. Guess what? There's a third painting also done in 1925. It's in the collection of the Colby College Museum. Uh, the Colby College Museum of Art, wonderful art museum in Maine. Uh, and this is entitled Birch and Pine Trees Pink. You can see it is a much more modernist looking painting, almost cubist. And the rose color is much more pronounced in its foreground. 
Uh, to me, it looks actually like a stalk of rhubarb. Sorry, Georgia. Uh, your preference in these three might vary, but personally, I'm really happy we ended up with number two. Let us show in the comments section which one is your favorite and whether you'd be interested in us bringing one or both of these other paintings to Manitowoc on a loan sometime in the future. In the meantime, isn't it great that you can check them and many other paintings out online? I encourage you to visit the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Colby College Museum of Art, and some of the other wonderful art museums throughout the country and throughout the world over the next few weeks. You can see such incredible artwork. Um, so back to Birch and Pine Tree number two. My utterly biased opinion is that we at the Rar West Art Museum got the best O'Keeffe Birch and Pine Tree painting. Uh, I've also got some decent evidence to back that up. When Mrs. West purchased this painting for our museum, do you know who sold it to her? The Georgia O'Keeffe Estate. The artist herself had kept this painting in her own personal collection for 60 years up until her death in 1986. In its 95-year history, this painting has had two owners, the Rar West Art Museum and Georgia O'Keeffe. Fun side story that some of you out there might confirm. I've heard that when the local newspaper here in Manitowoc announced that our museum was acquiring this artwork, their front page story printed the painting upside down. That's a distinct danger to all modern pieces of art for all you modernist art artists out there. Uh, Ruth West apparently demanded that they do a special second printing that same day with a corrected picture. Since 1990, the Rar West Art Museum has managed to showcase Georgia O'Keeffe's Birch and Pine Tree No. 2 right side up. And we've shared it with many museums throughout the United States and internationally in traveling exhibits and special loans. This is a monumental piece of artwork from an American modernist legend. It's truly one of our state's greatest artistic treasures, and we're happy to share it with you.